Tonight at 11, the Craven Area Rural Transit System, known as CARTS, is opening a new facility, which will be able to cater to more needs. Not your sites, Caitlin Richards joins us now after going to the new building and speaking with those in charge of the transit system. So, Caitlin, what did you find out? CARTS started in 1980 as a human service and grew into being public transit. That growth turned into needing more space. While the new CARTS facility prepares for a ribbon cutting, this is how it will help those in more than one county. The 3,100 square foot building and almost an acre of fenced in parking for carts will now give more space for approximately 33 employees. The vehicles aren't getting any smaller, so we were having a hard time actually finding parking accommodations for them. So over a few years, we decided it was time that they we got their own dedicated space. Craven County Cart serves Craven, Jones, and Pamlico counties for the general public, whether it's getting on the van to go shopping, to go to and from work, or other needed trips. Employment transportation has grown a lot uh, lately as well, and to accommodate that, we have expanded our hours a little bit, so we are um, on the road as early as 5 in the morning and as late as about 6 in the evening to try to accommodate uh, those employers. Formerly located on Noose Boulevard, the new $1.8 million building now sits across from the Craven County Judicial Center, providing more safety. Not only do passengers benefit, but I'm told their families do as well. Because frequently, um, if they are riding with us, then those family members know that they're taken care of. This m most recent fiscal year, which ended June 30th, we provided a little over 55,000 one-way trips, which is 20% increase over the prior fiscal year. There are currently 29 CARTS vehicles. 27 of those are accessible equipped and two of them have higher capacity without having the lift on them. This is an opportunity to better serve all of those citizens and to be a better uh, establishment for CARTS to actually run their operations. The ribbon cutting for the new CARTS facility will be Monday morning at 11 o'clock. For more information on CARTS and how to use the system, we have all of those details posted on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Caitlin Richards, 9 on your side. All right, Caitlin, thanks.